This is Jeremy Drebenstead with Demco Products. Today we are going to go over the install and removal of our 31K OE Prep UMS series hitches. These were specifically designed for the Ford, Chevy, GMC, and Ram factory under bed mount prep packages. So let's take a minute and go over how this is done. When you receive your hitch, it will come on a pallet in either three or four boxes, depending on which model of hitch you ordered. The Ram 31K hitch comes in four boxes, like seen here, and the Ford and Chevy hitches will come in three. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you the four boxes you will receive for the Ram and open them up, and then we'll go over the assembly of our Ram 31K hitch with you. In the first box we opened, it contained the pivot saddle assembly. On the second box, it contained our two support braces as well as our hardware bag, where inside you will find 20 grade 5 bolts and nuts to assemble the hitch, as well as the install manual. In our third box, it contained the side frame prep brackets for the ram. In our last box, it contained the hitch head assembly, along with the bag that contains the hitch head handle, along with the bolt and nut to install the handle, as well as a urethane pivot bumper. For demonstration purposes, we will be assembling the hitch on the ground. But a little tip when you do your install, you will want to do it inside the bed of the truck. Start by turning the locking handles out on the side rails, and place each rail into the OE base rail holes in the truck box. Once seated into place, turn the locking handles in. If they do not turn in, you can adjust them by removing washers under the handle. A little note, you will want to apply a little grease or lubricant to the part of the pins that insert into the base to help maintain both operation and rotation of the pins and also to protect them from the elements. Also, you will want to turn the pins occasionally to prevent them from seizing. Next, loosely bolt the saddle bracket to the side rails using four bolts and nuts on each side. You'll notice there are multiple different holes for your height adjustment. The 31K series hitches have four height adjustments, 16, 17, 18, and 19 inches. It may be easiest to determine your needed height and then bolt it together for that height now, but it can also be changed later on if needed. And finally, Loosely bolt the cross braces to the side rails using three bolts and nuts on each side of each of the side rails. Now that the hitch has been loosely bolted together, we can go ahead and tighten down the bolts and nuts. Just make sure you finish off by torquing them to specifications. For these half inch grade 5 bolts and nuts, it calls for them each to be torqued to 75 pound feet. The last item we have to install onto our hitch is our hitch head. But before we do this, let's go over how to get it ready to be installed. Start by flipping the head upside down and installing the blue urethane pivot bumper. There's only one spot this will fit on the underside of the hitch head, and it is necessary for proper function. Next, we need to install the hitch head handle. There are three different positions this can be installed. Facing the front of the truck, down towards the bed, or towards the back of the truck like we will be installing it today. Warning, do not install with the handle facing upward as this may get caught on the pin box while turning. Once you have found the desired handle position, you may install the bolt and lock nut and tighten them down. Now the hitch head is ready to be installed onto the saddle bracket. This is simply done by placing the hitch head onto the saddle and slide the pivot pin through the head and saddle and installing the linchpin. Now that we've seen how to assemble the hitch, let's go over the installation and removal of the hitch on the truck with it already assembled. I recommend using a lift along with Demco's hitch lifter adapter to install and remove the hitch. It locks into the jaws of the hitch head and makes it easy to use a lift or a hoist to install or remove any hitch. It's part number 6100. Before you set the hitch into the prep brackets, turn each handle out to the unlocked position. Next, line up the holes and lower the hitch into the prep bracket holes. Then simply turn each handle into the locking position and install each locking pin. 
To remove the hitch, simply reverse these steps like shown here. 